Hello everyone, it's Thumper the Rabbit Rabbit. On today's episode of Rust Electricity 101 The Component Guide, we're going to cover the Modular Car Lift Component. The Modular Car Lift is not a default blueprint. It is a level 2 item. You will need a level 2 workbench to craft it, and it's a little harder to find because it's in the locked and higher tier loot crates. And it has a little bit higher cost, 1,000 metal frags, 10 high qual, and 3 gears once you know the blueprint, if you're lucky enough to find one. But the easiest way to obtain one of these little gems is over at the Bandit Camp for the low, low price of 175 scrap. Modular car lift is used for repairing uh, and modifying the modular vehicles as well as creating keys for them. Uh, the... Uh, electrical side of this is all I'm going to cover today. There's a whole other series that needs to be done, and I'm sure there's plenty out there you can go find on uh, working with the modular cars. But since this is an electrical component, I wanted to cover it in the electricity guide. Uh, you can see here right now, it just tells me there's insufficient power. It requires 20 rust watts, or 20 units of power. Um, I'm going to plug it into this windmill. You can power it with as little as one solar panel that's in full uh, sunlight because a solar panel can put out a maximum of 20. Um, and I'll give you some advice on that also. But first I want to show you a behavioral thing. When you park a car on this lift, um, usually you're not going to get it quite centered. It's just going to be hanging off the front or the back or whatever, especially if you suck at driving these like I do. Let's see how well I can get it up here. <laughs> Yeah, that means two things. Um, but when I jump out, watch and see if it moves. Yeah, see it moved back just a little bit. When the lift is powered, the car will recenter itself on the lift. That's kind of your visual indicator that the lift has uh, full power to it because it will recenter the vehicle. Now, there's an important reason to keep this thing powered. Uh, if you keep the lift powered, then the vehicle will not decay. If you use something like a solar panel where you only have full power part of the day, you can only work on your car part of the day, and anytime this is powered down, the vehicle will start decaying, which means it's going to cost you high quality metal and metal frag to repair it. So if you value those resources more than what it would take to get some power to this thing, I would strongly recommend building an electrical system that can provide 24-7 uh, 20 units of power to this or more so that your vehicle does not decay while it's sitting on the lift in your garage. It's also a good reason why if you're going to have multiple vehicles, invest in multiple lifts. It will save you on the high qual and metal frag repair costs for the vehicles. Functionally, when it's powered, the uh, indicator changes from insufficient power to work on vehicle cute little animation and this is where you can swap out components on anywhere from a two three or four space um, frame you can also create a lock and you can also repair modules here I'm not going to get into modular vehicles in this video because this is about electricity but it is an electrical component it does require 20 units of power um, easy to go purchase at the bandit camp uh, relatively difficult to find in loot but if you're lucky enough to get one, I'd say blueprint it and keep it handy, especially if you're going to be in the auto industry. That just about covers it for the modular car lift. 